Hello friends, welcome to VSP La Channel. Today we are going to discuss judicial separation. So, under section 10 of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955. So, what is the meaning of judicial separation and what grounds are there to get judicial separation? and what steps needed to materialize the judicial separation we are going to discuss friends as you know very well about the vsp law channel this is vs patel member of the supreme court bar association life member of the high court bar association telangana state and uh, andhra pradesh lives in hyderabad karimnagar telangana state new delhi friends Judicial separation. Whether couple can live separately without having a divorce. Yes, they can live separately. So, by way of the judicial separation. So, what is the meaning of judicial separation? Judicial separation is a legal process by which married couple is formally separated despite being legally married. It is often known as a divorce from bed or and board. It means couple can live their life as separately by getting a court order. That court order is called here judicial separation. It means judicial separation is a in form of the court order. Once judicial separation is get, then the couple will live separately without any divorce so section 10 of the hindu marriage act 1955 deals with the judicial separation remember this is only for hindus so there are the grounds are there for getting a judicial separation by the couple any no, any one of the couple so what are the grounds are there the first ground is the adultery section 13 subclass 1 subclass 1 hindu marriage act 1955 there is a on the ground of adultery any one of the couple can get a judicial suppression. What is adultery? Adultery means illegal connection. So that. Second ground is that cruelty. Section 13, subclass 1, subclass 1A. If any one of the couple is mentally or physically harassed by the another couple, another uh, person, then on the ground of the cruelty can get the judicial separation. And uh, third one is the desertion. Section 13, subclass 1, subclass 1b. Deserting the, if any one of the couple without informing leave the house not less than the two years then other person other couple can have the right to get another may, uh, one of the couple is get is the right to get a judicial separation on the ground of desertion and fourth one is the conversion section 13 subclass 1 subclass 2. 
so that conversion means if here remembering any one of the person if any one of the couple converted from one religion to another religion so other member have other person have a right to get a judicial separation on ground of the conversion and the next ground is that unsound mind so that section 13 sub plus 1 sub plus 3 if we, any one of the couple have a i am not a mentally fit it means mentally not a sound mind it is a unsound mind the mad person then other person have a right to get a judicial separation on the ground of the unsound mind and uh, sixth one is the leprosy if any section 13 sub plus 1 sub plus 4 if any one of the couple have a disease of leprosy then other person have a right to get a judicial separation on the ground of the leprosy leprosy is a disease and uh, next one is the seventh ground is there that is that incurable disease venereal disease section 13 sub plus 1 sub sub plus fifth of the in the marriage act 1955 it means venereal disease means incurable disease it not curable if any one of the couple is suffering venereal disease another couple, another person has a right to get a judicial separation so that the next last ground is that section 13 sub plus 1 sub plus 6 renounce the world renounce the world if any one of the couple is renounce the world means remove the world to become a sanyasi it means civil dead then the other person has a right to get a judicial separation underground of the renounce the world these are the grounds under which if any person suffering then they can approach the court by to get a order that is called judicial separation once judicial separation is in, get by that person from the court of law then he can live separately without having any divorce remember it is not a divorce only living separately that is called judicial separation so then in case of judicial separation you can file the case before the civil civil court order 7 rule 1 of the cpc and uh, there is a date of marriage place of marriage and uh, with uh, uh, the gender details and address of the parties and uh, the person must be legally married and must be hindus these are the procedure are there and once petition filed before the court under the set grounds then they are the right to get a judicial separation if judicial separation is get the right uh, the rights will be sustained both parties have the rights remember it is not a divorce only judicial separation so this is a judicial if any couple if the couple wants to uh, if i have any disputes or any feelings between them then they have the option to get a judicial separation without going for divorce this is the today topic friends Thank you for watching